Okay, so next session. Yeah. So, okay, so this session basically it's like a continuation of the last session. Um, and we've got like a few different things. We've got from the, la the past life session, a few things came up like messages and stuff that uh, the, yeah, that came up during the session. So one of them was like to allow like emotions of fear and anger to come up, but um, to learn to control them. That was one thing. Not, none of this is a secret because it's on the past life video. Mm. Um, another one was like to feel alive. Another one was don't worry so much. And then the other one was like to focus more on the work or like work harder. Okay, so they're the messages that came up last time and the things that, uh, that like with your subconscious, it doesn't matter whether that past life was imagination or whether it was uh, real. These are the messages that your subconscious came up with. Okay, and then also we've got like actual health issues. Yeah. So you went to the doctor yesterday for uh, your hands because they're actually kind of a bit red, red. around here. Yeah. And swelling. And swollen, inflamed. Yeah. yeah. And um, the doctor said that it, oh yeah, and you can't close yeah. the fingers. Yeah, the fingers close, but it feels like it's hard, you know? Yeah. Like this is, the joints are hard. And the doctor said that it's not Sciuritic, sciuratic arthritis no. yeah. be because you've got psoriasis as well yeah but it's more like frostbite and stuff yeah. like that yeah true yeah it's just more like frostbite and yeah he recommended some meds because it's getting cold here in Porto <laughs> now guys yeah so um so I'm going to talk about arthritis, sciuratic arthritis I'll just say arthritis so I don't have to remember sciuratic uh, and also psoriasis uh, and also frostbite as well because it doesn't matter whether that's psoriatic arthritis or whether it's frostbite we're going to try and get the red to go away we're going to try and take the inflammation away and we're going to try and get the blood flowing in the hands and what was it? Oh, and also you can close the fingers again as well Okay. and there's another thing as well which is like what you mentioned before was like uh, things that you would like to change. So getting up early, yeah. doing exercise, and then there was just one suggestion that I made, which wasn't from you, which was like to have a project, some project or something to do to uh, fill up the time when there's nothing going on. Yeah. Instead of watching Netflix, <laughs> we need a project. Everyone needs a project all the time. That's what keeps us feeling alive. Okay, so I'm gonna try and deal with all of that in one session. Okay. In fact, I'm not gonna try, I am gonna deal with all of that in one session. So, are you ready to go into hypnosis? Yeah. Are you ready to go into hypnosis now? Yes. Are you ready to make some positive lifestyle changes? Yes, I am. All right, I better put some of my glasses back on in case I can't see. All right, we're gonna start with um, what's called a non-verbal induction. So like we've done the magic fingers, we've done like the um, uh, uh, doing it through meditation, the, um, uh, I forgot the name, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna do it like this. So all you need to do, just gonna try it and see what happens, is just follow me, all right? So I'm not gonna say anything.
rise up just to go deeper. Just feel that hypnosis going through the head, through the eyes, through the cheeks, relaxing every muscle in your eyes, relaxing every muscle in your cheeks, relaxing every muscle in your neck. Relaxing every muscle in your shoulders. Just feel that hypnosis now going through the head, through the forehead, through the cheeks, through the neck, through the shoulders, down through the arms. Down through the biceps and the triceps. Down into the fingers. Just feel that hypnosis now tingling in the fingers, just feeling it in the fingers. Just feel it now going through the chest and with every breath and with every heartbeat, listening to the sound of my voice. Just allowing yourself to just go deeper and deeper as the hypnosis now goes through the forehead. That's it, through the forehead, through the eyes, through the cheeks, through the shoulders, through the chest. Just feel it relaxing every muscle in the chest, down into the stomach, relaxing every muscle in the stomach. Going down through the head now, through the forehead, through the cheeks, through the neck, through the shoulders, down through the whole body, through the back and the chest, and down the spine and the stomach, through the arms to the hands. Feeling that hypnosis now going through your hips and through your legs. down through your knees, feeling that hypnosis now in your knees, any sensations in the knees, feeling it going down now through your legs, down to your feet, feeling that hypnosis in your feet, feeling that hypnosis in your toes, Feeling that hypnosis now going back up from your toes, back up through your feet, back up through your legs, back up through your hips, feeling that hypnosis now going back up through your hands, back up through your arms. Back up through your shoulders, just feeling every muscle relax, every muscle relax in your body. Going back up through your neck. Back up through your cheeks, back up into your eyes and your forehead. And just feel that hypnosis now just flowing from the top of your head down through your body, down to your feet. And back from your feet back up through the legs, back up through the stomach, back up through the back, back up through the arms, back up to the top of the head. Going up and down through the body, relaxing every single muscle, every single nerve. And just allowing yourself to just go deeper and deeper and deeper with every heartbeat and every breath, every heartbeat and every breath and with the sound of my voice. Just allowing yourself to just go deeper now. Just allow yourself to just go 10 times deeper, 20 times deeper, 30 times deeper, 40 times deeper, 50 times deeper. 60 times deeper. That's it, with every heartbeat, with every breath, just going deeper and deeper, 70 times deeper. Eighty times deeper. Ninety 
90 times deeper and 100 times deeper now. And with your imagination, your powerful imagination, just imagine that your eyes are just glued down, stuck down, stuck down, glued down with any kind of substance, any, any kind of glue or sticky substance that you like. And just imagine that the eyelids are so relaxed, every muscle in those eyelids are so relaxed that your eyes are just feeling sticky and closed and shut and heavy and your eyes now are just really closed and really stuck down now. And just imagine with that powerful imagination now that if you try to open your eyes now, the more you try to open your eyes, the more stuck down, the more glued down they are now. And just have a, a quick try now just to open your eyes, but the more you try, the more they're stuck down, the more they're glued down, the more they're stuck down. Okay, thank you, that's good. And what I'd like you to do now with this powerful imagination, this powerful imagination, is just imagine that there's a white light or an energy or a color or some sort of energy or white light at the top of your head. And what we're going to do today, I'm speaking to Jesus' subconscious now, is what we're going to do today is we're going to do a healing session today. And we're going to focus on all of the messages from the last session, from, from your subconscious, from the subconscious last time. The messages like learning how to control emotions, allowing those emotions, but learning how to control them. How to feel alive in this present moment. How not to worry so much and how to focus more on work and be more productive at work. And also things that Jesus would like to do himself. He said that he'd like to be able to get up early and do exercise and to find some kind of project or passion, something that he can do, something that excites him, something that's passion, that's exciting and a new passion for him to get involved in. And as well as these lifestyle changes, there's also physical lifestyle changes as well. There's the psoriasis in Jesus's body. The skin sometimes gets flaky. And also in the hands, it could be arthritis, it could be frostbite, but they're red, they're swollen, they can't close very well. All of these things now, we're going to work on today with Jesus's powerful, powerful, wonderful subconscious. And what we'd like to do first is I'd like Jesus's subconscious just to imagine that this powerful white light or color or energy is going into Jesus's head now. And as that white light goes into your head, goes into Jesus's forehead, just imagine with that powerful imagination that as that white light goes through the forehead and into the eyes, into the cheeks, that it's healing every single part of Jesus' body, every single nerve, every single cell, fixing, repairing, fixing, repairing, everything in Jesus's body to give him the most healthy and the most ha happy body now. And just imagining with that powerful imagination that that healing light, that energy, that white light passes through Jesus's head, through your forehead, through your cheeks, through your shoulders, through your chest and just feel that energy that light that healing source just feel it fixing healing repairing as it works down through the body feel it going through the chest through the arms through the stomach quickly or slowly moving from the top of the head to the toes and from the toes to the top of the head 
Feel that healing energy now going through the body. Just imagine with that powerful imagination that that healing energy is now going through the stomach. And as it goes through the stomach, maybe feeling that stomach getting warmer, that belly feeling warmer as it's just healing and fixing and fixing and healing. And just imagine that white light, that energy now going through the legs and going through the arms. And imagine that white light, that healing light now, really healing and fixing everything in the hands and everything in the knees. Feel it now in the hands and the knees, fixing and healing and healing and fixing. Feel that white light, that energy, that source, that power, whatever color it is that you can imagine and you can see with your powerful imagination. Imagine it fixing every part of the body as it works now from the skin, through the body, inside the body, into the heart, into the intestines, into the bones, into the blood, fixing every single part of the body now. But focus now on the hands and the knees and just feel the hands and the knees fixing and repairing and repairing and fixing now. Everything that's out of place, everything that's out of shape, just being fixed and repaired and put back now. Feel that healing energy now going down through the hips, down through the hands and the knees, and going all the way down now to the feet, all the time fixing and repairing and repairing and fixing feeling that energy, that vibration, that healing. Maybe moving in waves from the top of your head to your feet and from your, heat back to, from your feet back to the top of the head. And now feel that energy now coming up through the feet, from the feet, healing the feet, coming up through the legs. Feel that energy now in the knees, fixing and repairing and repairing and fixing back through the hands fixing every health issue, every problem, every emotional issue, fixing and repairing and repairing and fixing the hands, feeling it in the stomach, working its magic in the stomach. Maybe the stomach's feeling warmer and warmer as it spreads out from the stomach, the healing spreads out from the stomach, out from the heart, down from the top of the head, just filling up the whole body now, the whole body healing with some light, some energy, any color that you can see. Beating and moving like a wave through the body from the bo bottom of the feet to the top of the head and from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet, fixing and repairing and repairing and fixing. Just feeling it now fixing and repairing and repairing and fixing. Just feeling it now, fixing and repairing and repairing and fixing every single part of your body, every health issue, through the bone, going as deep as it can to every cell fixing every cell in the body, every molecule in the body. And feel that white light now going out through the skin, spreading out through the skin. And maybe going out through the hands, through the feet, through the top of the head, out through the top of the head, just really fixing and repairing everything. And in a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. And you're gonna come back to the room. So number one now, just really imagining and feeling that white light, that energy, that source, just healing everything in your body. 
number two, really letting it just do its final work, going from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet, from the bottom of the feet to the top of the head. Number three, just really feeling now, just feeling everything being put back into place, everything being fixed, everything being healed, every emotion. And every health issue, everything just being repaired and fixed now. Number four, feeling the change in your body now, feeling everything, feeling lighter and better and more healed and more positive now in your body now. Number five, opening your eyes when you're ready and you know you've done enough for now, opening your eyes and coming back to the room. fingers feel already we haven't even started yet how do your hands feel feel better to close yeah you can close them more already yeah we haven't even started yet he can already close his hands better already yeah and it's less rough. i have to say that while you were doing it i looked at your hands and i thought they looked better yeah but i thought i'm not gonna just say that it's, because no one's gonna believe me anyway it's less red oh you broke my lamp Sorry. <laughs> it was probably Yeah, it's less red. It was so red when I came to the room. It's already less red. Yeah. Is it itching less as well? Yeah. I don't see the burn. I don't feel the, the burn. Like it was burning. You know? Cool. Like burnt skin. Cool, man. Like I broke the lamp. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a lot less red now. You remember when I came? It was super red. All right, put your hands on your knees for me like that. What I want you to imagine with your powerful imagination, okay, you don't need to close your eyes for this, but what I want you to imagine is I've got some, you know, like, um, what do you call it, like a bandage? Bandage. All right, so I've got a healing bandage, okay? Mm -hmm. And just imagine with that powerful imagination that I'm going to put that healing bandage around your arm, hands like this, around the back of your leg, back over your hand like that. Maybe you can already feel it as well, going around like this. It's going to tie it like this. I'm going to put another one around here. This is a healing bandage, okay? It's going to heal your hands. All right, actually, we should stick some around your knee as well, because you've already, you said you might have something in your knee as well, a bit of... Well, you were, a little, you were a little bit concerned about the arthritis in your knee, right? Yeah. So it's in your hands and it's in your knees, okay? All right, so with your imagination, that powerful imagination now, just imagine that your hands, that this bandage is just getting tighter and tighter and tighter around your hands and around your legs, okay? And while it's getting tighter, it's also healing that hand and it's healing that hand and it's healing that knee and it's healing that knee. But while it's healing that hand and while it's healing that knee, these hands are also getting stuck down, glued down, stuck down, glued down to your legs. So that means that as this is healing and this is healing, the more that it's healing and the more that this is healing, it's getting stuck down, glued down, stuck down, glued down. Okay, and the more that you now try to lift up your hands, the more glued down, stuck down they get. The more that you try to heal, lift up your hands, the more healing that they do. The more that you try to lift up your hands now, the more glued down, stuck down they get. 
And the more that you try to lift up your hands now, the more that they're healing, that the blood is now going through the fingers and the fingers are getting better and better. And at the same time, the itching is just completely disappearing through the hands. And the more that you try to lift them, you can't because they're getting glued down, stuck down with this healing bandage, this healing bandage around your hands. Okay, and so now it's just healing and all the blood is flowing better and the itching's going and the red's gonna start going and the inflammation's gonna go down. Same with the knees as well. The knees are just healing at the same time. Are they stuck? Yeah, man. <laughs> you can't lift them up? No. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, okay. And when I click my fingers in a moment, okay, so I just healed them as much as we can for now, you're gonna be able to lift them up again. Okay, so, and you can lift them again now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, so now <laughs> Alright, I'd like you to put your hands out hands out straight for me. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna sit over here so that they can see in the camera. Alright, and we're gonna turn turn this one for me this way like this. That's it, perfect. Okay. All right, and what I want you to imagine, okay, is that I'm gonna put like a really heavy, heavy, heavy healing ball in this hand, okay, in, the, in your left hand. So just imagine that I put a really heavy healing ball in your left hand now. And as I put that in your hand now, you're gonna feel the weight of that hand. It's a healing ball, but as it's healing, your hand's just gonna get heavier, and it's gonna get heavier, and it's gonna get heavier, and it's gonna get heavier, and that hand's just gonna start going down and down and down and down and down with that heavy ball just healing that hand all the time great okay and now you can just let that hand just fall down onto your leg that's fine okay and this hand here okay this has got a healing piece of another bandage another healing bandage that we've just put around this hand here all right i'm just gonna pull this hand up with this bandage pulling it up like this and as i pull it it's healing and it's healing and it's healing and it's healing and it's healing okay good and what i want you to imagine now right is that this arm this arm that this healing bandage this is working its way through the arm it's healing all of the arm it's going down through all the arm from the fingers this healing bandage is going down through the arm like this it's going down through the arm and as that healing bandage works its way through as that healing hypnosis works its way through the arm now maybe you can feel it going through the arm now but as it gets from the fingers to the shoulder across the arm like this this arm's just getting stiffer and stiffer and stiffer this healing energy is making your arm stiffer and stiffer and stiffer and stiffer now and now the more you try to move this arm, the more that the arm is healing, but you won't be able to move the arm. The more that you try to bend that arm or move that arm, the, the stiffer and the stiffer and the stiffer that arm gets. You can't move it, you can't move it, you can't bend it. If you try to bend it, then it just gets stiffer and stiffer. At the same time, it's healing as well. Can you move the arm? Okay, good. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, just allow the arm to fall down to your uh, leg and as you allow the arm to fall down to your leg, just allow yourself to just close your eyes and just go deeper and deeper back with the movement of the arm going back down. Just allow yourself to just sink back down into hypnosis. Now, okay, your arm can now fall, slowly fall back down onto your leg. Close your uh, eyes for me. And as the arm just moves down, just allow yourself to just go deeper deeper and deeper now this one also you can relax here now and just get comfortable with that arm just allow as this arm goes back down onto the leg just go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper with the arm moving down just going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into your hypnosis now back into your hypnosis now as the arm just goes deeper and deeper and deeper. That's it, as your hypnosis just goes deeper and the arm falls down. When the arm touches your knee, it's going to touch your knee, just allow yourself to just go really deeper and deeper, as deep as you can. It can relax now, it's not stiff anymore. The arm can relax on your arm, on your leg. This arm also can relax on your leg. I'll just turn it around for you so that it's comfortable. Okay, all right, good. Now, 10 times deeper, 20 times deeper. That's it, 30 times deeper. 
40 times deeper, 50 times deeper, that's it, 60 times deeper, 70 times deeper now. Remembering that your back and your ass are stuck in the chair just to keep you safe, 70 times deeper, 80 times deeper, 90 times deeper, and 100 times deeper now. That's it. Now we're going to do some more work on your healing. I'd like you to go back to that mystical place, that magical place. I'd like Jesus' uh, subconscious to go back to that mystical place, that magical place, that place where you can make perfect positive lifestyle changes, that place that you've been to before. It can be a different place this time, but going back to that mystical place and that ma magical place, that place where you make perfect positive lifestyle changes once again. And this time in this mystical place and this magical place where you make perfect and positive lifestyle changes, this time we're going to go through a door, but we're not going to go through the control room door. We're going to go through a different door this time in this mystical place, this magical place where we can make perfect and positive lifestyle changes. I'd like you to open that door now in that mystical, magical place. And inside that door, and through the other side of that door, when you go into that room in a moment, you're going to find it could be a library, it could be um, lots of books, it could be a room, everything disorganized. You're going to walk into a room, maybe with some books, maybe with lots of different, um, uh, can be anything that your imagination can imagine. But when you walk through that door, everything's going to be disorganized. Everything in that room is going to be a big mess. And as you walk in through that room now, walking into that room, it could be a library with lots of books. It could be a bedroom. It could be a room in the hostel. It could be anything. It could be a room from your past. could be a completely new room that you've never seen before. But everything in that room is disorganized. And everything in that room represents different feelings, emotions, parts of the body. They Everything in that room represents your subconscious, the inside of you, the body, the mind, the emotions. And what I want you to do in a moment is I want you to just start putting everything back in the right place, all of the emotions back in the right place, all of the parts of the body and the way that the parts of the body work back in the right place, everything in the mind back in the right place, all the memories back in the right place, all the feelings, thoughts, feelings, emotions and sensations back in the right place. Just going to tidy that room up and put everything back in the right place again. But also, anything that you don't want, anything that you don't need, any negative images, feelings, thoughts, emotions, or sensations, any problems, any concerns, any negative memories, anything like pain, discomfort, itching in your hands, swelling in your hands, lack of movement in your hands, anything that you don't like, I want you to find a container or a bin or a trash can, or something to just put them in that you can dispose of them later, you can get rid of them later. I just want you to start organizing everything in that room now. That's it, with that powerful imagination and your help of your subconscious now help of Jesus' subconscious now, just putting everything back into place. Everything 
back into place to fix the psoriasis. Everything back into place to fix the frostbite. Everything back into place to fix the, arth the arthritis. Everything back into place so that you can control your emotions, allow your emotions, but feel comfortable with your emotions. Putting anger back in the correct, correct place. Putting fear back in the correct place. Putting excitement and adventure and feeling alive back in the right place in this room. Putting focusing on work back in the right place. And putting, putting not worrying so much back in the right place. finding those objects and those things in the room that mean that you, you get up early and you do exercise back in the right place, everything back in the right place. Now. That's it, perfectly safe, perfectly fine. Take your time and just continue to put Organize everything back in the right place. And speaking to Jesus' subconscious now. Also remember, everything that's not serving you, everything that's not helping you, put it into the garbage can, into the rubbish bin, into the container that you're going to get rid of and throw away. Now. Any emotions any memories, any problems, any fears, any physical problems, physical ailments, any itching, headaches, swelling, lack of movement, tiredness, laziness, anything that you don't need anymore. Put it into this container this trash can, this bin, whatever it is that your imagination has decided to put it in and just put everything you don't need in there. And everything else, just tidying it, putting it back into the correct place. Now. It. And I'm just going to give you and your Jesus' subconscious and Jesus, I'm just going to give you time now just for a moment just to organize everything in that room, putting the things you don't need in the container and the things that you do want, putting them back in the correct place in that room, making it completely organized now. And when you know that you've done made all the changes in that room that you need to make to put it back into the perfect order and to get rid of everything that you don't need when you've done enough, and you know that you've done enough for now, when you know you've done enough for now, just give me a nod so that I know that you've organized everything in that room. Just feeling your stomach now, everything getting back to normal in your stomach as you re rearrange and move everything in that room. Feeling your hands also getting healthier and the swelling going down and the itching disappearing. 
any pains in your neck or your back or your shoulders just disappearing as you put everything back in the right place in that room now. And when you know that you've done enough for now and that it's in the correct place, just give me a nod so that I know that you put everything back in the right place now. So take your time, just rearrange everything, putting everything in the right place, getting rid of everything that doesn't help you and doesn't serve you now. It's a great opportunity for you to repair and fix and heal your body, your mind, your emotions now. With the help of your amazing, powerful subconscious now. That's it. And when you know that you've tidied up everything and put everything in the right place and got rid of everything that you don't need anymore. Take your time, but when you know you've done enough, just give me a sign by nodding your head. Okay. And now what I want you to do with that powerful imagination of yours is I want you to find that container, find that trash can, find that rubbish bin. And what you're going to do now is you're going to, with the, your imagination, your powerful imagination, any way you want to, everything that you don't want and everything that you don't need, all those emotions, all that pain, physical pain, emotional pain, all those negative things that you don't need anymore, I want you to destroy, completely destroy this container, this trash can. You can nuclear explode it, you can blow it up with a flamethrower, you can jump on it, stamp on it, fire it into space, destroy that as any way that you want to, now. So that those negative images, feelings, thoughts, emotions, sensations, physical and psychological, have completely gone now. When you know, and you know that it's completely destroyed and gone forever, give me a nod so that I know that you've destroyed it completely. Take your time, enjoy it, and blow it up, destroy it, get rid of it completely forever. It's completely destroyed forever. Give me a nod so that I know that you've completely and utterly destroyed it forever. And if there's a lot of crap, take your time, destroy it all, one at a time if you like. Enjoy it, getting rid of it all. I'm going to count to five again, I'm going to just bring you back to the room and we'll just have a chat about what that experience was like. So number, don't open your eyes till we get to five. Number one, what I want you to do now is I just want you to really feel the change. Feel the change now, all that crap has gone forever. Feel how more positive you feel, feel how much more excited and happy you feel. Feel the joy, the excitement, the change now. 
And number two, what I want you to do now is just feel how everything in your life, psychologically and physically, has been put back into place. And just feel how fantastic that feels, that everything has been put back into its correct place and correct position now. And three, what I want you to do now is I want you to leave that room and go back out of that room, back into that mystical, magical place where you make perfect, positive lifestyle changes and just feel how those changes now are permanent. They're forever. Those changes are completely, they, they stay with you when you leave that room. And as you close that door now and everything in that room is perfectly organized and in its place. Just feel how, how, how when you leave that room, how you continue to feel amazing and joy and happiness because all of that crap's been destroyed and everything else is in its correct place. And four, what I want you to do is bring all of that positive emotions and positivity and everything back in its right place physically and mentally I want to bring I want you to bring all of that back into the room here when you come back five coming back to the room now opening your eyes when you're ready and just feeling all of that all of those positive changes everything now back in its place so that your arthritis will disappear and the itching will disappear and the swelling will disappear and the blood's going to flow properly through your body and your hands are not going to feel cold all the time anymore. They're going to feel warm and normal like everyone's hands now. And your knees are not going to be achy anymore. And just feeling how you're going to feel more happy, more excited, more enthusiastic about getting up in the morning and about doing a passion, a project, perhaps exercise now. And just feeling as you slowly get ready to open your eyes and come back to the room, how you feel more alive and how you don't feel so worried anymore. And how you feel like you're ready to do your work at the hostel and get the work done so you can get on with your life and do all the other wonderful things that you want to do. And just feeling all of those changes now, everything that you wanted to change has been changed now because you've just put everything back in its correct place now. Just feeling all of those changes, every one of those changes now open your eyes and feel absolutely amazing that was part one of the session <laughs> how was the room then What did it look like? Was it a library or was it? Was it the hostel? <laughs> it was at the hostel. Yeah. Arranging the hostel. Yeah. How did you blow up all the stuff? <laughs> With gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> With gasoline. <laughs> How do you feel right now? I feel good. <laughs> yeah. Feel. Feel different. Yeah. How do your hands feel right now? They they feel better. Fuck, they look normal now almost. Not completely? Yeah. There's some red there. Just the dot, just the red dots. Yeah, but the red. The red's completely gone now. Yeah. And yeah. like these parts were, you know, were aching too, like here and here. And now it isn't anymore. No aching? And what about the movement? Is it better? Yeah, a lot better. With the swelling, see? Oh. Like before it was like this, like really bleed, like. Yeah. It's not that big. All right. So, is there any itching left? No, I don't feel any itching. Okay. So there's a bit of red left. Yeah, just this red and this. But I don't feel they burn anymore because they were burning before. 
I don't feel it burning. Cause you see, every time I did this friction, the skin it was burning like really bad. So now I can do this like no. Do they do they feel cold? No, no, no. Just no. Okay, so if you were going to give a color to like, so there's some red left. There's no itching left. There's a bit of swelling left. If you were going to give a color to the to the 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 red, it can be red. It doesn't have to be red. But if you're going to give a color to that and give a color to the to the swelling, what color would you give it now? Yellow. Yellow. Okay. So now just imagine with your powerful imagination, all the yellow. Just have a look at your hands and just see all the yellow. Everything that you need to take out of those hands. So where the red is there, that's now yellow. Any swelling going down the fingers is yellow. Anything that's there that still needs to be taken out is yellow. And just imagine now. Okay. So I'm going to just take, imagine I've got a kind of a string of this yellow from both hands. I'm going to put it into one hand like this. And I'm just going to pull all of that yellow out of your hands. And just feel it now, all that yellow, all that itching, all that redness, all that rawness, all that swelling, just feel it being pulled out of your hands and completely leaving your hands now. Did you feel it going? Yeah, I feel like something was pulling it. Pulling out. So we just have to, we've got to wait now for everything to just settle back down. We can't expect it all to just completely heal in a second, but that's already pretty cool. And what about the movement, the movement now? Yeah, the movement is a lot better. So it's yeah. Almost normal now, huh? Yeah, I can, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, I can bend them, because you see, I can bend my fingers like this. And yeah, when they are normal, I can bend you them. You can bend them up. Yeah, so yeah, now I can bend them up. Cool, yeah. man. It's better. No more pain, actually. You see the swell? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's almost normal, now, like this one. I think the only bit that's red now is there. Yeah. And there. But it looks like you've been scratching it or something. There. Yeah. But yeah. the, that's going now. That's going. It's yeah. And that one too. It was it was the red was like almost here and I feel like it's retreating, you know. Yeah, it's kinda of going down. And can you feel the blood flowing? I mean can you feel like they they're not cold? Yeah, they're not cold. They are not cold. Cool. You done enough for now, or do you, or do you want to keep going? Yeah, I can, I can keep going. See, the swelling is going down more and more. Cool. Okay, so that was already, that was uh, uh, a lot already. That's a session, basically. That's a lot for one session, but that's kind of, Kind of what we can do. It's kind of a demo to show you what we can do. I want to do uh, the, another thing now. Jesus says he's happy to keep going, and this is a whole second session by itself. <laughs> this is probably going to be like a two-part video. Two-part video. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. But it's good, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And how did it feel before we continue with a you? You you couldn't lift your hands from your legs. Yeah, yeah, like they were glued or something like, <laughs> like you tied in a mug, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And then could you feel the weight of the? Yeah, board? like there was some there was something in my hand, like I could feel my 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 muscles trying to. And that time, like the one I was trying to bend, I could feel the muscles here in the in the elbow, you know, trying to bend it, but it it wasn't it, it couldn't bend. I was trying, the more I tried, like I couldn't, like it was, it was, you just, you know, block the, the thing. So the, the, the hand sticking and the arms uh, getting stuck, mm -hmm. this is something you can do just like for fun, but it's also a way to check that somebody's in hypnosis. Mm -hmm. But I just decided, I just came up with the idea of putting like a healing bandage around and 
if your imagination believes it, it's going to be true. So, yeah. cool. 